I'm sure we're all familiar with Planet Honey Pop. It's the karaoke bar in San Myshuno, and it's a little bit weird. I think it's really, really cool from the outside. I love the idea of it. The shape of it's really fun. The interior is really fun, but they've tried to do something interesting to have a stage. And so I don't know if you can tell, but none of this space is actually a room. They've done the like fake split leveling trick that we used to have to do before we had platforms. And so all of this is a fake room. When I click on it, nothing. This part's a room. This is the only actual room in the whole building. Plus we've got a little bit up here for the bathrooms, but the rest of it is just walls surrounding a deleted floor. So they basically built a room and then deleted the floor. So it would be a little bit lower, which looks cool. Love the idea of it, but there's like weird lighting glitches. You can see the flooring is kind of messed up. It just doesn't function that well. And now that we have platforms, we can fix this because we can make this look how it was originally intended, but using platforms instead of the weird foundation trick. So I think that's my plan for today is to try and renovate Planet Honey Pop and hopefully fix it up a little bit. Cause I think she's got some really good potential. We just need some help. <laughs> so let's get started, shall we? I don't wanna have to delete all the furniture, but we might have to delete all the furniture. <laughs> Step one is literally just gonna be rebuilding all of the walls to make this one big room that's actually a room. Because as of right now, it is not a room and we want it to be. It's gonna delete a lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna delete a lot of furniture. <laughs> but it's fine. Now the floor is not glitched anymore, which is good. All right, I'm getting a bunch of lights in here. I'm actually really excited about this. <laughs> I think it's gonna be really cool. But just for context, what they did originally, you see how we've got the foundation in the floor here? They deleted it. So it's like one higher up and then they put like a fake stage in this area. Obviously we don't want that. <laughs> we wanna have a real stage using platforms. So that's our plan. You know what else is cool is we can keep a lot of the color scheme and stuff they had. I don't think it's an ugly build at all. It's just like a little bit broken, you know, but we can fix that. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm falling apart. Why can't I put the wall in the right place? Okay, there we go. What? You just killed my platform. And for what? All right, this is... Ah! Oh, this is not going well. <laughs> platforms are a little bit glitchy too. I act like it's just the, the foundation that was glitchy. The platforms are glitchy too, but at least the platforms like function. Why? I think we should be able to do this now. Well, that's not right. Clearly it was <laughs> over one or something. What is going on? It's so weird. This is like bizarre. I don't get it. Why is it doing that? Like, what is this? Yeah, look, it keeps deleting my floor. All right, folks, I don't think we're gonna have a round stage anymore. What if the stage was like this? Hear me out, right? And then this is the main stage and there's like the weird side bits. I'm just trying to make it more interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I'm beginning to regret my decision to do this at all. I wanna get like a cooler area for the bar and make some sort of like built-in area or something. I don't know where to put it though. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I mean? I want to have something more interesting for the bar area because I feel like right now it's kind of boring. Maybe we should work on the exterior and then we can redo the floor plan once we figure out how we need to change the exterior because something about this needs to go. Okay, I googled karaoke bar exterior and like the Planet Honey Pop one comes up. Oh, that's not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I know what this one looks like. I find it so hard to build community lots in The Sims because like in real life, a lot of buildings do just look like this, you know? Like, it, so trying to build something cool, there's not a lot of reference that you can go off of, unfortunately. Look at how cool they look on the inside. <laughs> like all just the color and stuff. I don't know, we'll figure it out. What if the walls were medium instead of tall? Just a thought. Oh, we can put platforms up here now. Look at how easy this is. I, I feel like that already makes literally the world of a difference than just having like random half walls on the roof. I'm wondering if we need to make this building shorter and just like smaller in general. What if we just like really changed up how the building looks? I don't know if it needs to be two stories. Honestly, I think that's gonna make a big difference. Oh, I'm destroying it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think I need to completely change this building. Do you know what I kind of want to do? I realize that I'm like completely changing the build at this point, but you see how there's these trees that kind of frame it? I feel like the entryway should be centered with those trees. Doesn't that make sense? So basically um, what I've done here is make the build significantly smaller on like all sides. All right, I think we've come along with something here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just taking some time to figure it out. But this will make sense when we're done. Don't even worry about it. Using these rounded pieces makes it so like finicky trying to build here. I would like to figure out how to get the rounded pieces to work inside, but I don't know if it will. But you see how like this basically is the same, just flipped from before. Cause before they had the, the grassy stuff on this side, but I've put it on this side. Cause it makes more sense to me to have the entry like centered with these trees. How are we feeling about this? Like maybe having the, the bar area over here instead on this like extra bump out I added. And over here 
Because that makes more sense to me to have the bar like in a more designated space instead of just like randomly placed here. And then we can have like the drinks behind it and stuff still. I feel like that makes sense. God, this is cursed. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna pull this off. Okay, it's fine. Putting an overhang off all sides. They had like this thing. We could just sit it up there. Maybe we should put something behind it. Maybe we shouldn't just sit it up there. What if there was like a half wall? A small one. Oh, it should be centered. No, wait, we need to move this over. Cause it should be like centered with the entry. Cause you're gonna have your sims come in here. Should we raise it up? Should there be like stairs? Probably no stairs. I kinda want it to be like pink and black on the outside. Like I kinda wanna use black windows. I feel like that'll tie it in because you know how we have these columns that were everywhere with the black accent and the pink highlight in it or whatever i feel like if we had pink and black on the outside it would look really cool i'm just not really sure like how to go about that this is very out of my comfort zone again i don't know if you can tell i never build things like this also i was not planning on like completely rebuilding the whole thing which is what i've ended up doing so <laughs> this is um a little bit beyond my original plans. Oh yeah, I think that black trim on the bottom looks way better. We also don't wanna have like a ton of windows. I mean, it's supposed to be a karaoke bar, right? So you want it to be dark in there. I think I put too many windows. <laughs> I think it's too bright still. It's okay, we'll figure it out. This is fine. Look, it's gonna look so cool with these pink columns. What sort of wallpapers came with City Living? Like, can we even use them very easily? <gasps> Oh, this one looks way cooler. Ooh. I don't like this big side of the building. I think we need to change this. Something about it feels very ugly <laughs> and off to me. Do you know what I mean? That's not that bad. I don't know what colors to paint this building. <laughs> this does not look good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting there. It's fine. We'll figure it out. I was trying to avoid using spa day, but I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. All right. I think I like the blue and I think I like the black. I'm not sure about the gray anymore. Like this part. Of course, this is the one thing that's actually from City Living. Maybe if it were lighter. Actually, the lighter is kind of good. <gasps> Wait. No, 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 no. That pink color is so good. This like bubble gummy pink color, way more fun. Maybe that's, maybe that's the vibe. It kind of works. Okay, this was supposed to be all green. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. I think I figured it out, guys. It just, it took me a while, but I think I got there. All right, I brought a sim here so that we can change light colors because look at this. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> So hopefully, now that we have a sim here, we can fix it so that this place is very pink on the inside. There we go. This is gonna look so cool. I'm so excited about this build. Plus, look how perfectly this piano rug fits here. <laughs> Isn't that so nice? I'm so excited. Does this come in pink by any chance? I swear to you, I've never seen this table in my life. Oh, it's city living. <laughs> Doesn't come in pink though, so I'm not interested in it. This one has a pinkish swatch, but it's not really the right vibe. Like, this is very blue. We're looking for more pink and purple. I think. Although this one could work. I'd be okay with this table. I don't hate this. I don't know if it's bright enough. I feel like this place is supposed to be very like hot pink and this is very much a baby pink. We don't have to use the blue swatch on the table. Oh, we have a guest. <laughs> she wants to help apparently. Oh, she's gone. Never mind. I spoke and she left. So <laughs> false alarm, cat does not love me. That's kind of cool. Those paintings are very much the vibe. <laughs> so we could size them up all big like that. That's interesting. That's cool, I think. I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna need to make it a lot darker in here. Look at that column. Isn't that so cool? Oh, it's gonna be so shiny in this room. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about that. I wanna see if we can mostly light up this place with wall lights. Make this light very dim. So there's just like a little bit of overhead lighting in there so that you can get good screenshots. But I still want the room to be very like cozy, you know? <laughs> oh, this thing is cool. If we could put this somewhere, I would be very happy. Even if we had it like sized down on this wall or something. How about that? A little bit of blue. Interesting. Maybe we should try and paint the rest of the walls before we get too distracted. I'm like, oh wait, we haven't finished painting the walls yet. It's hard to, to decorate these rooms when you don't know what the walls are gonna look like. So that's probably a priority. Hang on, let's get back to that really quickly. Maybe some dark spa day wallpaper. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. This one could probably be pink. Yeah, I'm catching myself using a lot of spa day in this build. I don't usually use spa day all that much. Should we have like a dance floor? Oh, no, okay, that's very cool. I think that we should use that. I've tried like a million different ways of laying out couches in this area, trying to get like a, a good sitting area layout. I just can't figure it out. I can't figure out a way that makes sense and isn't like stupid. <laughs> Cause I feel like you wanna have couches. It's very useful to have couches and like some sort of sitting space here, but I simply cannot find a way 
think that it makes sense. What about just a straight up like black wall? That could be a fun accent wall. Ooh. Oh no, I quite like that. Yeah, no, we can use that. <laughs> that works. That's interesting, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks cool. Absolutely using talking toilets in the bathroom, by the way. I simply cannot throw away an opportunity like this to have a talking toilet in a bathroom. So we'll be placing these down. Well, it's a fully functional karaoke bar now. It's not done. We still need to make some finishing touches and stuff. What if there was little candles on the tables? I, first of all, hate this. Set color intensity, all candles. Please be less ugly. I don't want to have like pink candles, do I? No, we can have pink candles. There's no harm in pink candles. Those look cute, actually. Oh, I like this build. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this. I don't know if you can tell, but this is really, really exciting for me. Obviously, I just don't ever build stuff like this. So it is quite fun to do something a bit out of the box. I really like the the vibes in here. <laughs> Not to say vibes, but you know what I mean? It's just kind of fun and, and pink. I like it. I think I want to go through like everything in city living, all the decorations and see if we can find anything else we want to use. Cause like, for example, this thing is kind of cool. We could find a spot to put this somewhere. Could even like, oh, what if we raise this up? and put it on the counter. Big and fancy, I like it. <laughs> can even put like the orchids on this table. I know that's a bit weird to have orchids on the table like this, but we could. There's a lot of like random signs and stuff that we probably wouldn't use inside, like this stuff. These are obviously like outdoor exterior signs. That thing is cool. We could put that in the hallway with the bathrooms. Or what if there was like, oh, actually, I feel like that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Just this weird thing, like, yeah, 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 yeah that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that seems about right to me. I don't know where to put this thing then. We have like some beaded curtains. I don't know if those work though. Ooh, I like those colors on this thing. That's really cool. Just put a couch under it. Doesn't feel that unreasonable or out of place, right? Like it's a karaoke bar. You need places to sit and listen to the music. <laughs> Does this horse look really out of place to you? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of like more city living decorations that we can put place. That's really weird. Why, why would there be a, a horse statue in the middle of this room? Maybe I will just put that thing right there. I feel like it makes sense. We need to get some music in here too, which I haven't done yet. Venue wall speaker S pop maybe? I don't know. Get some music over here. Oh wait, these speakers could look kind of decorative. Look, because they're sort of around, like surround soundy like. <gasps> that makes sense. I don't know. I think the inside is done. I think the inside makes sense. Now it's just to try and figure out some landscaping quickly and maybe some more like outdoor lighting. I made a bunch of lights outside pink as well. That's kind of fun. I'm not the best at like outdoor lighting stuff. I don't really know how to do it. <laughs> I don't really know how to make it look better. What if all of the walls, the other walls were black instead of this white color? That is kind of fun. It feels a little bit dark. What if they were like gray instead of black? Oh yeah, that's better. And we can still have this wall be black because then we can still have that like black accent color. I think it looks really cool. I'm really excited. I don't always feel like I'm the best at community lot building. Like, I, you know, I've said this all the time in like every video I make, but I don't really think I'm like the best at this. So I don't really do it that often either, but it is fun. <laughs> I do always have fun doing this. I just don't think I'm that good at it. Oh, here they come. Here come my guests. Katrina's talking to the toilet. How kind of her. <laughs> I was just trying to make it less cloudy so I could get some screenshots. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Planet Honey Pop, slightly renovated. Although, that's a little bit more than slightly. I'd bring my Sims here. I think it looks cool. The platforms to make a stage are so fun. I'm so, I'm so excited about platforms. I keep using them in like every build, obviously. But like the platform for the roof and, and to make the stage, like what a big difference from the half walls and like foundation tricks that it started with, you know? Are there any other like classic community lots that you think could use updating now with platforms? I feel like honestly, the blue velvet could be next. The base game lounge in Willow Creek. This one totally could have a stage. It totally makes sense for all the lounges to have stages. I mean, we have this like performing area. We could definitely make a stage out of this. We'd have to redo the layout a little bit, but I think that there is certainly room for some renovations of the blue velvet. So I think we might try that one next. Let me know what you think in the comments. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. I can't believe the idea of a stage has got me this excited. <laughs> it's such a non-issue. It's like such a small thing, but I'm like, wait guys, what about stages? We could add stages to the builds. Oh God, I love the Sims.